gotta do a deep sniff before I make a video. The Asian guy that per he developed a Flappy Bird game. I think last year or a year or two it was called Flap Flap. But he got mad because there was apparently another app for that, so we had to change it to Flappy Bird. It's the game where there's those pipes are going up and down. You gotta make sure that the bird passes through those pipes and doesn't actually like get hit by it. But um, I never played it. My little brother played it all the time. I watched him. He actually had a pretty good high score on it because I know most people got like three. It's a, it became a funny meme because people of the left side of the IQ, the left side of the bell curve, they were the ones that were getting the most angry about this game. They were legitimately triggered by it. And they were flooding his email. It's, it's a Dumber Whites and Negroids, Mulattoes, Mestizos. But I know it's a lot of Negroids. And it was very funny how they basically just told, yo, I spent eight hours of my day what, playing your game, man. Your shit has me fucked up, sending him death threats. And he was basically trying to make polite answers to all these things. And they were sending him death threats on his email, too. And nasty memes, and saying, how could you do this to us? Being devoid of respect and understanding to this man that is doing all this work alone. It's not like a major gaming company or product of any kind where they have multiple people working on this thing doing their company bidding. Like, when you send out a tweet to Barack Obama, I doubt he actually responds. He has people working on that site while he's doing other stuff. and It's a collaborative effort. This is a one-man thing. So if you say shit to him, he will eventually see it. And people are mad because this guy is a guy who made, what, $50,000 a day because of this? And now he shut down the app. It's done with. Because it violates his simple life. Guys, you are projecting Western values and white values on a man that has an Asiatic soul. If he wants a simple life, and a simple life means not being famous, continuing to produce indie little mini games for your apps, by all means, let him do his thing. If fame is too stressful for him, if he's that modest of a guy, then he's just operating on the nature of his soul, and I can't get mad at him for that. It would be ignorant for me to do that. It would be miseducated. All these random words people throw, it would be bigoted. <laughs> no, no. But in all honesty, what would you expect? If it was a guy like you or me, implying that you aren't a transsexual mulatto uh, dinosaur, that we have more of a soul made for innovation, perseverance, doing things of that nature. So if someone basically starts harassing us on Twitter, we're going to find a way to move past that, to keep doing our thing, to make sure we're not just getting that $50,000 a day, plus more stuff, but that we're keeping that train coming and bring things to new levels, not just Continuing with our simple lives, making indie games that are not that groundbreaking and are just cute and fun. 
and that's what Flappy Bird was. Flappy Bird was a cute and fun game that had some design similarities to Super Mario games with the green pipes and the Mushroom Kingdom look-alike world and the bird that kind of looks like a reject uh... what's that show on Cartoon Network? regular show mixed with Angry Bird, mixed with Down Syndrome Sprite it had a lot of cutesy things going for it and I would do one like a I had a friend who, when there were like dress down days on school, he would wear a Angry Birds shirt with the red Angry Bird. I would get a shirt that had a red Flappy Bird thing you know, with one big eye, because you only see one of its eyes. I'd get something like that, or a big Flappy Bird sprite on my shirt. But with all that being said, I don't blame the guy for what he did. I'm basically projecting some of my views if I'm going to call it dumb, ignorant, whiny, bitchy, and all these things. And people of a similar soul to him do suck it up, but they suck it up because they have other people in mind or other desires that are over that another layer like maybe he wants to build an empire for a flappy bird based whack indie app game empire for his kids or people he's working with but no he's just a one man show guy so even that doesn't imply everything he's doing he's doing for himself he's the artist and I commend him for that. Doing your thing with creativity, no matter how minimal, can be commended so long as it really is done responsibly and he's played it as responsibly as possible. Once again, I commend him for that. Commend him. This is Mr. Wonka 7, and think about it.